Hey guys and girls, it's me Alan and welcome to my second gameplay commentary. Uh, today I have some more Battlefield Hardline footage for you and we'll be watching some Hotwire gameplay. The best way to describe Hotwire is Conquest but on the move. So the capture points are three vehicles which aren't stationary, they have to be driven in order to be captured. And I really hate it when people do this, when they when they take a helicopter just to get somewhere and then just ditch it regardless of who else is in it. I mean, I jumped out, I was prepared to get in that vehicle and drive. You know, if you don't want to fly the helicopter, why take it, you know, but that's something that annoys me quite a lot. But whatever, um, it, it survives the crash and I managed to take over. Uh, where was I? Yeah, so hot wire, so as you can see, there are, there are three vehicles, A, B and C just like there are three points of conquest and in order to capture the points or the vehicles in this case you just have to drive them above a certain speed and that uses up the tickets the same way as if you've captured a conquest point in normal conquest and that's it really um, it's I mean it's an interesting concept and it is really fun uh, chasing other players and you know trying to invade trying to evade other players chasing you and I don't know it's just I just really enjoy it. I probably spent the most time playing this game mode in, in the beta. I mean, I didn't get to play as much of it as I wanted to, the whole beta in general, but what time I did spend, I, I did play quite a lot of this hot wire mode. In my first video, I did say that I felt the gameplay was a little bit short and that my next video might be a bit longer. Well, I, I eventually settled on this particular match, but this match is like 20 minutes in total, it's basically the entire time frame and I felt that was a bit long but as it happens I can split the video into two parts because something happens uh, later on that is a nice little I can sort of end it at that section and then I do something different in the next section so I'm going to split this video into two parts but it will still be considered the same commentary so I will link I will link the second part if you uh, are interested in watching that second half but in this first half I'm basically just playing a helo pilot as you can see and I just really enjoy flying the helo I mean it was I, I did it a lot in Bad Company 2 I would fly the helo basically you know if if no one else was gonna fly it I would fly it because there's just something about being the guy who you know transports other players or provides overwatch um, you know getting the gunners into position so they can you know secure kills and whatever I just enjoy that um, I don't do it all the time but you know I just I do enjoy it I do enjoy it and I don't mind doing it so if it helps my team then great um, and you know speaking about company 2 I I feel like hardline has a similar essence of bad company um, I don't know what it is maybe it's the fact that it's not as there's not as much going on as in Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 it's a little bit more simplistic but in a good way but that's what I like about the Battlefield franchise you know the objective based game modes I never I never play it for you know, team deathmatch style game mode because that to me just doesn't really I don't know, it's just not fast paced enough for my liking and Call of Duty and Team Deathmatch just seem to go hand in hand you know, the maps are smaller and the, the gameplay is a lot faster paced but yeah, I don't mind that, that's fine because you know, I like having a bit of variety I don't want two different Call of Duty franchises you know, it's good that Battlefield in my eyes has something different to offer so that when I play it, I have something you know, fresh to play something, something different and driving vehicles is one of the things that I enjoy doing in Battlefield because obviously I can't do it in Call of Duty or a lot of the other games that I play and flying a helicopter I do enjoy it I know I keep talking about it but I do enjoy flying a helicopter and especially when especially when you've got a gunner who knows what they're doing and who can get you kills well assists you know uh, because there's no point flying someone who can't shoot the gun or can't aim the gun and then you're just wasting time and even though 
people can use the helicopter as a, as a spawn point, I don't think they do it enough, you know. It's like, I'm always in pursuit, or at least try to be always in pursuit, and nobody ever really spawns in it, but maybe that's just because it's the beta and people are still trying to learn things. But one of the things I try and do as a pilot is to position myself at the vehicle spawn locations when there's a, a new car in play because that's the whole point of the game mode to capture the cars and if I can help my team get there quicker then that's great but you'd be surprised how long I'm just hovering around sometimes and not in this game I don't think but you know there are other games where I've literally hovered over the vehicle and nobody's turned up and it, you know, it goes to the enemy team and I just I think that's a waste you know it's like I'm there to make use of me but I don't know, like I said, maybe it's just the beta. I have experienced uh, what it's like to be in the gunner seat. And I have to say, the default weapon is pretty crap. It's got a slow rate of fire, it's not very accurate. And for a heavy calibre weapon, it doesn't do a lot of damage to, to enemy players. I think it's like a three hit kill or something stupid like that. And trying to land three shots with that thing is not an easy task to do but where it does shine is taking out enemy vehicles that's why you'll see me uh, flying around enemy cars and in this case enemy helicopter instead of players on foot because it's just a lot easier to hit vehicles and I think it might do more damage against the vehicles than against humans and there you go the enemy team well it seems like there's only one person in the helicopter and they bailed so maybe there wasn't, I don't know, there must have been someone repairing it, but they didn't bail, so that pilot has just, just jumped ship and left them to it. Um, another thing I hate, but sometimes, sometimes you give people the order to jump out and they don't listen, like, you know, like when there's, uh, when, you, when you've been locked on by a stinger and you know it's coming in, I always, if I can, try and get a message to the, to the players in the helicopter by using the, uh, the little message prompt thing and tell them to jump out because you know I mean that's one of my responsibilities as a pilot is that I've got to make sure I don't actually know if they get a notification or not that we've got incoming missiles uh, rockets so yeah obviously I you know I, I don't want my team members to die needlessly. I mean, if, if the roles were reversed, I would want a heads up. So I do try and get the message out. And sometimes they do jump, and sometimes they don't. And then you'll just see like a, a feed in the corner where half your team have been wiped out because they, they didn't take you, they didn't take your advice. But you can only do what you do, and if they don't listen, they don't listen. Uh, maybe they're not paying attention or something. I, I don't know. Like I said, it's beta, so. And, you know, I think, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I'm being a bit, I feel like I'm doing quite a lot of work as a pilot, so I feel there should be a little bit more assist points provided, because, you know, I need to get the, the gunners in position and, you know, and not crash, which some people <laughs> find hard to do, but I find, well, I've had a lot of practice flying, so I can't really say, but, I don't know, I just... I would, I would like a little bit more assist points because I can't actually get any kills myself. There's, I can't control any of the guns while I'm flying the, while I'm flying the helicopter. But I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just being greedy. Maybe I want more points for doing just the flying. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like I feel like I should get some more, especially if people get like absolutely loads of kills. Maybe there should be a bonus. Every I don't know, every three, four kills or something, I should get like an extra set of points just just because. And maybe you should get points for not crashing, <laughs> because there are some pilots that I've you know I've been in helicopters with, and they've just done absolutely terrible. I mean, we were all learning once, but like I said, if you can't fly the helicopter, if you don't want to fly the helicopter, then don't, because there are people who will do it. 
and chances are they'll do a pretty good job if I do say so myself and this is a good example of why the guns are terrible I'm you know I'm hovering quite steady here and quite close to that water tower a bit too close as it happens and I almost absolutely messed it up there but I managed to recover Sorry. <laughs> I even apologise for it that's just the sort of player I am uh, and that guy didn't manage to kill that enemy player who was just literally prone on the ground behind one of the pillars um, of the of the water tower. But you know, I, I understand how difficult it is to use the machine gun, so I just move on, start chasing a different vehicle. Um, you know, not a lot of people will come around to this side of the map. You know, this dirt road next to the radio tower. So if you want to get away just for a brief respite. In the, in, in the control vehicle, in the hot wire vehicle, sorry, then you know it's a good place to go. But the only problem is, as you can see, it's very exposed to the air. So if you're being chased by any helicopter, it's not the best place to be. And <laughs> I thought I would have got the roadkill there with the rotor blades, but apparently not. Anyway, I I missed the roadkill, uh, I crashed the helicopter, and this is where I'm going to end this part of the video. So if you want to check out part two, where I'll do a bit more vehicle driving, uh, land vehicle driving, then click the link on screen now. Then I will catch you hopefully in the next video. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. And if you enjoyed, give it a like. And I'll catch you next time. Take care.